Hello and welcome to this special edition, the second in the series of the Ghana Expo Property and Lifestyle Show. This one is dubbed the Ghana Expo Property and Lifestyle Show 2018 here in London. It happened last year in the year 2017 and it was a big show. This year promises to be another wonderful one and I will want to have you come along with me as we go see what properties there are on display, how you can invest in them and also to have all the questions that are on your mind answered. The legal ones, the investment ones and of course the financial ones. The expo is open and I would want you once again to come along with me. My name is Ousu Frimpon and I'm lucky to have Anna with me and uh, she is the co-founder of On Point Property Development which is putting this together. Thank you very much Anna. Thank you for having me here. What is the expectation? It's going to be an amazing show, number 2018. We have so many developers here and the Sam Big Bank and a wealth of information from our industry experts. Okay. Well, I would want you to carry me along okay. as we go see what there is in there. Good afternoon once again. My name is Ousu Frimpon and I would want to welcome you to Ghana Expo 2018. We're talking property and lifestyle show. This event has brought all of you here together with the organizers, together with the various organizations that are showcasing the properties that I know you are interested in. We're here not just to look at what it is that is available, but also to have a conversation going. How do I do this? How do I not do this? And the rest of it. And before we set off, I would want to please bring up here the co-founders of On Point Properties and the organizers of the Expo, Anna Ajikun Wilson and Victoria. Ajikun, please, let's give them a round of applause as they come. This is Victoria and Asana. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for attending our Dagana Property and Lifestyle Expo, second edition 2018. My name is Victoria Ajikun and I am one of the co-founders of the Expo. Good afternoon. Again, my name is Anna Adjikum Wilson, and we're delighted to see you all today. Um, it's been an amazing journey for us. 20, 2017, we launched the event. Um, both myself and Victoria, for those who don't know us, we've been working in the real estate industry for a combined experience of 28 years. So we realized very rapidly that there's been, well, we've known for a really long time of all the sort of distress stories of purchasing property in Ghana. And we thought, you know, we've had independence for 60 years. We cannot be exchanging these same negative stories. So we decided to do something about it. So as well as organizing and co-founding the event, we also have a company called On Point Property Management Limited, which offers a one-stop solution for property investment in Ghana. So that, through that service, we realized there was a real demand and we thought, why not put all the top reputable developers under one roof with the banks industry experts to come and speak to you and nothing beats face to face. So we really want you to make use of the developers who have flown in especially to come and meet as many as you as possible. Thank you very much, Anna and Victoria. Mobiles, what do you have for us this time? Uh, I think Mobiles has uh, evolved over time and uh, we've, we've evolved in a good way. We have looked at realities on the ground, practicalities of things, and we have, we have balanced things out with two components in mind, price and quality. Uh, this is how we started. We started doing uh, very high-end stuff, 
And so we've actually built 6,000 square meters of grade A offices in airport residential. We actually did uh, some apartments in cantonments. We also did some apartments in, uh, in East Legon called Capella Place, beautiful. In cantonments, we did an apartment block called Ninth Court. It's also very nice. And then we came to Ajirinano and we did Phoenix Villas. Now, one of the things which you will find synonymous with all these things I have actually spoken about is the fact that these were, prices were quite high. Prices were quite high. But what we have done over the period is that we have looked at the Ghanaian market and realize that the people who buy uh, the high-end stuff are basically the same people who always buy. Hitherto, the high-end apartments and townhouses we had done had been fueled by prospecting for oil, you know. And this had brought in a lot of companies into Ghana, Look Oil and all these guys who, were, who could sometimes come looking for 16 apartments and all these things. Uh, over a period, uh, there has been an increase in the supply of these apartments as well and the demand has not so much increased. So just putting these two things together, there has been a reduction in the prices of, that you can actually get for rent and all that. Estraco is a wholly owned Ghanaian company. It started with a, with a simple idea of providing decent home for Ghanaians living abroad and living in Ghana to now evolve to providing the best investment opportunities to urban communities and everything that we do today. So it's evolved. Um, we have two, two major brands, there's the DevTraco Living, which is our, our parent company, and then there's DevTraco Plus, which is the premium brand. I'm Fusena Abu, I'm the Managing Director for Gold Key Properties. Um, Gold Key is one of Accra's foremost real estate developers. We do residential and commercial properties. And right now our largest development is Cantonment City, a mixed-use development in the heart of Accra. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the company. And the company is a multi-international company. We have a development in China. Actually, China is our main market. And also we have uh, development in the U.S., which is in California. And uh, you know, in Ghana, we entered the market in uh, 2011, and where we have a head office at Lashibi uh, Community 14. And uh, in currently in Ghana here, we have three projects. One is called Vista Damory, and which located at the airport area behind Bema Camp. The Greens is an estate development in Tamako 25. We are doing two bedroom and three bedroom two places in an executive and cliff community. Yeah. It's a two year project development and we are actually developing phases. We've done the phase one, phase two is ongoing and after the, from there we do the phase three. Right. Yeah. So um, who's the target? Is it the top class, middle class or anybody else can come in? Anybody else, yeah. You know, in the housing market is very big, so we don't want to tie ourselves to the high end or to the, or the lower end. Somebody in the high end might be very interested in buying any of our properties for even you know, uh, rent. So we're targeting anybody. My impression today is it's quite great. It's an opportunity for those who are here to be able to get something back home conveniently without any at least they can see what is happening back home in Ghana. For the organized, I would say that it needs to be more exposed, especially to all the people that are not Ghanaian. I got to know about it from ABN, and it's just by clip, and from, my, from the people that I work with as well. So I think it should be well, well more exposed. The advert should be much more exposed so that people can get to know more about it because I'm only represented sure there's a lot of people out there especially the youth that are coming up now they want to their whole time is quite different they want to do something they want to have a feel of what their homeland is about and we have always said it that nobody can build Ghana for us except Ghanaians and if we want Ghanaians who have the expertise the world-class expertise to come and shape in the life of other Ghanaians, it is you who have been exposed to every, everything that you can think of. So the reason why we are appealing to you to come is that if you are not coming to Ghana 
within the next five, ten years, I have a bad story to tell you. Other people were taking over our country. I was talking to somebody and he was telling me that when they were flying to Ghana, there were about only five or ten people, Ghanaians, who were in the flight. All the rest, either Turkish, Germans, Chinese as usual, Indians, <laughs> and all other class. And where are the Ghanaians? That difference cannot be made here. Because here, the market is already saturated. But where you, every, every step that you take in Ghana, there's a challenge. There's a problem to be solved. And that is where we need you. Sometimes when you are talking to fellow Ghanaians, everything we see, oh, Kofi, and when you go, there is this, there is this problem. Then I look back at them and I say, look, it is Ghana. We are not going to change. The only way we can change is that you come with all your better exposure and everything and add to what we are having. If you don't do that and you continue to talk and continue to lament and continue to cry, the Nigerians are taking over the University of Ghana. They are buying all the lands and properties in Ghana. And if you are not mindful, 10 years to come, you won't come and you won't get any imperial home to buy, but you rather buy it from a Nigerian who is staying in imperial home. So please, this is all that I want to pour out to you this afternoon. The, our estate developers have come. They have come with one mentality, to make sure that they get their diaspora community to also buy their dream houses. Apart from buying your dream house, you can also buy and also hedge it as an investment. So Mr. Kofiado has said a lot, and that is the foundation for everything I'm going to say, because I was gonna say quite a bit of what he said already. So in 2014, or just before 2014, we just looked at how after the discovery of oil, the real estate market in Ghana just started growing rapidly. Because then everybody in the world saw Ghana. People who loved money, wanted to invest, just saw that it was a good time to come into the country. And so the real estate market started booming. But we realized that there was something lacking. Some people were missing out on the opportunities. And these people were our own Ghanaians who lived abroad. And so we had a lot of foreigners come and invest. People would come with bags of cash, even that, you know, come and buy property. They were making money. People were buying multiple properties. But the Ghanaians, you know, as always, sometimes we are very slow to see the opportunity in Ghana. Well, we're missing out. And I don't blame you. And it was also because a lot of you had terrible stories that had spread from generation to generation. Don't try Ghana. You be duped, all that, all that. So we just thought that it would be a good time for us to develop a product as a bank that you can trust to help you and to guide you find the best investment opportunities in Ghana so that you also own a piece of the land from where you come from. And so we developed our diaspora mortgage offering. In fact, diaspora banking offering, and under that we had the diaspora mortgage. Um, Adam City Estate is one of the best developers right now in Ghana. Um, Adam City believes in affordability in their housing. We have houses in Kaswa, Tema, in Community 25. We build um, two bedrooms, three bedrooms, and four bedroom houses, um, and they're very affordable from £27,000 to about £67,000. And GHS Housing is a company that has been in existence for 10 years now. We started in 2006 at Pokwase, which is well developed and finished now. And we moved to Kuntunsi of the Pokwase Amasamai Road at the Satellite Junction. So, first of all, I'll say prices. Ghanaians are looking at affordability. That's what they are looking at. And for £33,000, you can actually get a two-bedroom detached house. A two-bedroom detached house. So you have your two-bedroom, your living, your fully fitted kitchen. Okay, you have your washroom, your toilet, and your bath as well. So with your porch, a detached house. You demarcate your plots. On a 36 by 64 plot of land, you get a detached house for £33,000. So that's why people are really engaging us a lot and we were able to sell that much to date. 
We can all tell our stories. Fingers being burnt here and there. My uncle giving me, you know what I'm talking about, pictures of properties that do not exist. And in this day and age of photoshopping, brilliant schemes and stories are told us. How do you do it? Do you just walk into any property developer's office and say, I want something to buy? If you have any legal document, what are the things you need to look at? The small prints? Other things hidden in the contracts? Sometimes you think that you have a freehold, a leasehold, whatever. The years that are assigned to them and the rest of it. You need somebody who has the experience, the eye, and who can pay attention to the detail to advise you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing you one person who is very uh, active in the Ghanaian community. He has 26 years of legal practice experience. He qualified as a barrister in 1992 and was called to the Ghana Bar in 1993. He continues to be a member of good standing, so you can trust whatever he tells you. He is a solicitor to the Supreme Court of England and Wales. Bernard Osu. Quite excited that um, a lot of you are interested in what the community is doing um, business wise. Um, as you've been told, my name is Bernard Owusu. So, what I'm going to do this afternoon is to give you a practical experience with my knowledge in law and also as an investor. I invest in properties in Ghana. Um, I do luxurious high-end properties and also middle-level properties. Um, so what I do is that I, I, I buy uh, and it's let out. Um, some in this Legon, Laboni, Cantonment, and Airport. Before you part with money, you must make sure that the contract is reduced to writing. Okay? The um, conveyancing decree gives you the format of what a contract must have. I mean, there are lawyers here who do property business in Ghana. If you take immediate action, you're likely to get a reduced, cheaper, developed property. But the responsibility is yours. Lawyers, we have something we call caveat emptor. The buyer must beware. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, it's been a phenomenal 2018. Um, this is our second edition here in the UK. But also in August of this year, we had our first edition in Atlanta, USA, where we had a phenomenal response. And it's always lovely to be back in the UK to connect the diaspora to these wonderful developers here. I'm also beginning to see a, a trend as well in the Ghana real estate industry which is the development of apartments instead of houses. Previously, people were developing houses, four bedroom, three bedroom houses. But land space is becoming difficult. And so the apartment um, concept is really coming out. And you can see a, a number of developers, you know, from, um, I won't name names, a number of developers developing high rise properties with a lot of apartments in there. Now, it's good news for uh, property developers and investors in Ghana because you will have very chic um, apartment in a very good location um, as your investment. We are here this time around again to introduce you to our new house types. Currently now we are moving into the affordable section where we have houses and apartments starting from $65,000 going all the way up to $80,000. The houses range from two to three bedrooms expandable and even currently we're running a promo where if you're buying one of the apartments, it comes with a fully fitted kitchen, a 55-inch TV in the rooms and ACs everywhere. MF's construction, if you do your homework and check, we are known for security. It's a gated community where currently these houses are going to be about 500 units, comprising from 65,000, which is affordable, 130,000 starting from the mid-class, and the high-class houses like this one you see here, which is starting from 200,000. We've also just redesigned all our houses now to meet the current design and the trends. 
The advantage of buying from us is again this time we have a police station that we build in the community for security where we have them patrolling the estate at all times. Our houses, as you know, are very spacious because we build homes in our houses. Thank you very much for coming here. Um, we know that this kind of platform, when we get it, is a chance for us to tell you what is happening. Because most of the time, the only thing you hear about Ghana, Africa, is all bad news. But there is a lot of good things happening. So you come in here, it shows me that you are very, very enthusiastic about Ghana, our country. Um, the video I've told you, showed you a lot about Imperial Homes. But what I'm so passionate that I want to tell you is to let you know exactly what is happening and also some of the um, mistakes that people make when they are purchasing properties in Ghana. White World Properties is a purely 100% Ghanaian owned company. We deal in apartments and townhomes in Cantonment, East Legon and East Legon Hills. Most of our properties are targeting at investment. So we give you a good price that you can get a rental yield between 7 to 12 percent, depending on the location, because we range from East Legon Hills, East Legon, and Cantonment. What we say is that White World gives you, we make you experience true comfort. We give you space, we give you luxury, and then we give you affordability all in one. So if you come to White World Properties, you are looking at everything that an investor is looking for. Most people outside Ghana found it difficult to find a very good representative to stand in for them if they wanted to do real estate investments. So we just thought that, oh right, it would be a good opportunity to introduce our diaspora mortgages that targets Ghanaians outside Ghana who have real estate interest in Ghana. So we started giving our mortgages for, for this purpose. So for our mortgages, we do home purchase mortgages for people who don't have time and just want to see a completed property and do a purchase. We finance up to 80% of the value of the property and uh, the loan runs for an extended period of up to 20 years. So a customer is at liberty to decide what number of years they want to do. Now apart from home purchase, we realize that so many people must have started pro projects in the past that haven't been completed. So we do offer construction finance as well for people who have started something and need money to complete or for people who just have land and need money to do the construction. Then we have vacant land financing as well for people who want to buy service plots in service communities. And then we have equity releases for people who already have properties but still need some cash. So we say you're yeah, property rich but you're cash poor. So we release some equity off your existing property for you to do whatever you want to do with it. I work as an executive director of Mobus Properties. Uh, Mobus was set up some, some years ago in 2007 by Sir Samuel Jonah when he retired as president of Anglo Gold Ashanti. And uh, we have been in the business uh, since then. Uh, hitherto, we had developed a lot of properties, uh, commercial properties. Uh, we have an office uh, called Capital Place of about 6,000 square meters, which has done very well, which was about 100% leased when we were done at the airport residential area. Uh, we've also done uh, Capella Place, uh, some apartments in uh, East Legon, very, 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 very beautiful apartments in East Legon, which was sold out in no time. Uh, we also did uh, Ninth Court. This is the development that we have in uh, in uh, uh, East Cantonments, uh, this one is also also sold out. And then following that, we did also Phoenix Villas, which is located in uh, Ajiri, in Ghana. This was a development of about 24 uh, houses into three and four bedroom houses. Very beautiful, well landscaped, fantastic roads, a very good place for, 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 for one to live. We have sold most of it, but we still have a few of the three beds available and about two of the four beds available as we speak now. Last year, March, and we um, went to the office and she kind of went down um, with all the developers that kind of matched my skills and what I wanted and the money that I had saved. And um, we came across a tinnery for Mombas. Um, so we started the process from then. So I bought off plan. Um, 
I went there last year, November, for the first time, but in that time I was getting sent reports from the v developers and from Anna herself. Um, and then I went again four weeks ago to see the progress of the property. Everything's been smooth. The pictures are, as you see, there's nothing um, dodgy or anything like that. Um, I saw Phoenix Villas before I went to Richfield, so I got to see a previous property that they had done, which had been finished, and everything's amazing. The quality's good. Customer service is amazing as well. I can't complain. Well, I, I brought her up here because uh, On Point has put this together, and not that we are asking you to assume things, but get your hands on the real thing. This is a living example. And thank you very much, Anna, for that. Please put your hands together for Mobus. Thank you. I came across this piece of land um, in East Legon. It's by a man-made lake, um, which for years has been basically a swamp. Um, it's clean, but um, no one's really taken any notice of it. So we've put together this scheme um, using the lake as a, a feature. So we're going to add fountains to it. Um, we're going to develop it. Um, and we're going to have restaurants overlooking the lake. So if we, just, we just want Ghanaians to appreciate what they have. So we're six months away from completion. It's been very hard, but I think it will transform East Legon. And uh, it's going to be a project that we're really proud of. We're starting from 77,000, which is really a studio. Um, we also have one bed, two beds. Uh, the reason being is that you know, there's, there's people that just want a uh, lock up and go. So the studios and one beds are very good for that. Um, we have certain amenities which targets families as well. There's children's play area, there's a large pool. Um, we want to make this uh, a go-to destination. There's shopping, there's a pharmacy on site. Um, so I want you know, people from London, when they come back and they see this, I want them to say, wow, you know, well done. So, like I said, six months away, um, we, we're really looking forward to this, this development. I think it's going to change East Legon. So the Ivy at East Legon is a development that we started in March of this year. Uh, it's due for completion in September of next year. And it's a seven-story residential building uh, that is, um, I guess it's, it's moving the needle in terms of quality construction quite considerably. Uh, in that the way that we're constructing it is entirely different from the typical building that's built in Accra. Um, so it's one of the first buildings where uh, every single wall is at a grade of concrete that's considerably higher than the typical development. And we have perfectly straight lines and perfectly straight corners absolutely throughout the entire building. So I really encourage people to come and have a look at, at, at what the Ivy can bring for them. So the pricing is, is actually quite competitive, we feel, in terms of the price per square meter. Uh, so the Ivy is at the intersection in terms of buying for investment versus buying to live. Uh, and in fact, we haven't sold a single two bed or three bed yet in the development to someone who wasn't planning on living at the Ivy. Uh, and so that's been quite intriguing and quite interesting. Uh, the development is currently 70% sold out. Uh, we do have some availabilities across everything left. So I'd encourage people to reach out and, and get in touch. Um, but, it, but it really, the, the, the key difference with the development uh, is from a quality perspective, it's going to be very, very long lasting and it's a real solid build. This year is our 10th anniversary, uh, so we have a lot of things going on at the moment. Um, in terms of offer, we have the Imperial Vista that we are doing the offer on. Currently, we have reduced the prices for this expo. We are selling these houses at $300,000 for a, a four-bedroom house. Normally, it would have been around 450,000 to 500,000. But because it's our anniversary year, we have reduced these prices significantly for people. I, I can see apartment 24, and now you say coming soon. What is the concept? Apartment 24 is an um, apartment that we, we've in, Definitely just giving that name Apartment 24. It's just a unique uh, project that we are doing at the moment. Um, in terms of the concept, it's one of the flagship property uh, development that we are going to be doing and it's part of the anniversary project too. Uh, in terms of offers, we have a two bedroom to three bedroom uh, apartment that we are doing at the moment. 
And when we say coming soon, it means that everything is ready for us to start the project. And normally we, we sell the properties off plan. Now, it means that when we sell it off plan, you are getting a lot of discount in the off plan because we reduce the prices significantly. Um, my name is Adeola Kushimo. I am um, the chairman of the company, uh, executive chairman of the company. And um, Dartwood is, is a group company in Ghana. And um, we, we have four companies in one. We have the Dartwood Construction. We have the Dartwood consulting, we have the Dartwood developers. We are only seeing developers here today, but there are four companies, I've mentioned Dartwood consulting, I've mentioned Dartwood construction, developer, and then we have what we call Property Point Ghana. Property Point Ghana is a management facility management company. So when we finish development, when we design, the Dartwood construction will construct, and the Dartwood developers will find the money and finance to build it, and Dartwood Property Point Ghana will manage the property up to 100 years, whatever. So the good thing about my the good thing about my company is that the good thing about my company is that it's a one-stop shop. The one-stop company where when you come, we design, we construct, we develop, and we manage. So when you come to Dartwood developers or Dartwood construction. We do not allow you to go. We will provide you with everything you need to get your objective. So today, we were here last year as part of the Expo, and I was very, very impressed with the customers we were able to get from here. And um, we were able to team up with Stambik Bank, who happens to be our bank in Ghana. So we were able to do good business last year. And that gave me the motivation to bring my team again for this year's uh, Expo. When I was growing up, I had an uncle who decided to buy um, a plot at Spintex. And he drove us there because he wanted to build a pharmaceutical company. He drove us there, and when we were going, I was like, ah, but the place is too far. A few years down the line, I went there, and I noticed that even a church, at, some of you may be familiar with KICC. KICC is way behind his pharmaceutical company. So I was telling myself that maybe if my dad had bought a plot of land there, I'm sure it will be my property now. And I'll be building houses and selling there. We say that nowhere far in Accra. Apollonia City is a company, um, it's a project that has been developed by a company called Rendeva. Rendeva is investing in five African countries. And we're building seven projects. Our concept is simple, it's different on the market. We're building satellite cities. So we see that Accra is very choked. People want to build. Now if you want to build in Cantonment or elsewhere, you may have to break and build, true or not true. True. So we are moving people away from the busy city center, get them into a new city, a master plan city, where they can live, where they can work, and where they can play. And that is why we've invested in 2,325 acres of land. That's what we're doing. We're on the first phase now, which is about 700 acres. Uh, my name is uh, Kiran Daswani. Um, originally Indian, born and brought up in Spain. In Ghana since 2014. The name, the Greens, because we believe also in sustaining the environment. So we are also putting in solar, which is sustainability. We are also doing uh, recycling. So we are putting, bringing awareness also in how to sort your waste. So some sort of waste management also. So I believe that the more we educate also the community, the healthier our planet will also be. So the Greens was a name that resonated with the concept behind that. We, have, we start with the terrace houses, which are two-bedroom apartments. Their starting price is $69,000. So it's 85 square meters, so they're two-story buildings. Some call them duplexes or townhouses. Um, then we have uh, 
three bedrooms also, semi-detached, going for $107,000. So we have uh, the master bedroom with ensuite bathroom and then the two other bedrooms with a shared bathroom. And then we have the Oak Plus, which is a detached three-bedroom house with also a boys' quarter, and that's about 140 square meters, and that's going for $125,000. Um, if you look right in the eye of a potential customer, a potential investor, and a potential developer, or even an existing one, what would be your final message? My final message will be is that we keep the conversation. Use us to help you as a platform to, if you're a developer, to connect with clients and for the diaspora, we can give you step-by-step -step guide to help you with your property purchase journey. So we're here to create that global platform to make buying property back in Ghana a stress-free process. Well, I asked you to join me, you have, and the story has been good. I've enjoyed it and I know that um, the things that have been said, things that have been discussed and the various offers that have been on will be something that will help you make a good decision. Where you live is where your peace is. Be part of the Expo in 2019. Until then, my name is Oisif Reporter. Thanks for joining us and thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. To